YouTube, what is going on? And welcome to the 34th episode of my FIFA 16 Boca Juniors career mode. In today's episode, we are going to be playing three Barclays Premier League games, the first game of the Capital One Cup, and also the first Champions League group stage game. We start off with a game in the Barclays Premier League against Tottenham Hotspur. It would start off in the 22nd minute with Harry Kane making a fantastic strike off the volley, but unfortunately for him, he did hit the post. We would have an attack in the 35th minute. It's Paul Dybala running down the wing and Danny Rose. Goes around him and then another ball roll. Fires the shot. Oh, it gets deflected and it's into the back of the net. I think that's Bruno Zuccellini who actually deflected Paulo Dybala's shot. It was a great dribble by the Argentine striker. And then when he did fire the shot, he accidentally hit Bruno Zuccellini, his teammate. But fortunately for Boca Juniors, Zuccellini deflects the ball into the back corner and it's into the back of the net giving Boca Juniors the lead before halftime, and that is how the first half would end with Boca Juniors in the lead. And then start off the second half, Zuccellini, the goal scorer, plays through Dybala. Dybala to Carlos Tevez. Tevez turns right past John Stones, and Carlos Tevez makes a cool left-footed finish into the back net, giving Boca Juniors the 2-0 lead and doubling their tally. Looking to put the game away, Boca Juniors were on the attack again in the 68th minute. It's Bruno Zuccellini on the ball. He goes past John Stone. Stone's having a very poor game. Zuccellini to the middle, gives it up to Paulo Dybala, and Dybala finally gets his goal this game. After being un unlucky not to get the first goal, he does get this goal with the man who did take his first goal, Bruno Zuccellini, giving him the assist. And that's now 3-0 Boca Juniors, and it looks like the game was all but over. But Boca Juniors were still pressing on, looking for a fourth goal. It's Carlos Tevez, goes past Kieran Trippier. Tevez run down the wing, whips in the triple tap cross, and Paula Dybach kind of steals the goal from Kyle Walker right here, as the triple tap cross was meant for Kyle Walker, but looked like Paula Dybala kind of stole the goal from Kyle Walker, not too disappointed, as it did end up in a goal nonetheless, and that would be how the game would end, so we do get a 4-0 victory over Tottenham Hotspur in the first game of today's episode. Now we play the first Champions League group stage game against Ajax. I did have to run a backup side because since we are undefeated and have won every single game in the league, I'm definitely prioritizing that. And I feel like this is a chance that we can win the BPL. But unfortunately for us, the backup side would go down 1-0 to Ajax. A great cross and header was won and Ajax do take the lead. But we would have an attack in the 14th minute. Lucas Romero running down the wing. He cuts past the defender. Bull rolls past the center back. Shoots. It gets saved. And unfortunately, Luciano Vieto's effort is saved as well. Boca Juniors had another attack on the 23rd minute. It's Peruzzi on the ball. He goes past one Ajax defender. Gives it up to Luciano Vieto. And Vieto makes a nice finish at the near post. Packed past the Ajax goalkeeper. Tying the game up, making it Boca Juniors 1 and Ajax 1. So, a good goal for the Argentine striker. I do believe it is his second goal for the club. So, he is fitting in pretty well now. And Vieto was played through. And it looks like he could get his second goal of the game. But, unfortunately, he is denied by the Ajax goalkeeper of giving Boca Juniors the lead. And that would be how the first half would end. So, a pretty solid first half for Boca Juniors. Definitely felt we were a little bit better. But, we still need that second goal to get the three points in the group stage. But, Ajax would have the first attack in the second half. It's Victor Fisher being played through and Victor Fisher fires the shot past Willie Caballero. Really no chance for Caballero to make that save and the Denmark International does give Ajax the lead and they would hold that lead and now in the 90th minute Ajax are running down the wing and this just drives me crazy. Ajax are running down the wing and they are just not trying to score a goal at all. It's crazy that you can just sit there in the corner and they do it again. I tackle them. I was kind of mad, so I was just slide tacking them from behind. And actually, it was working the slide tackles. But unfortunately for me, eventually the referee would blow for the game to end. And we do lose 2-1 to one to IX. Definitely disappointed, but I do feel like with five games left, we're definitely not too worried about missing out on knockout stage Champions League football. But nonetheless, we do go into the next BPL game against Everton. Starting off in the 40th minute, it's Carlos Tevez running down the wing against Everton defense. He cuts it back to Bruno Zicciolini, and Bruno Zicciolini fires a great left foot shot into the back of net, giving Boca Juniors the lead at Goodison Park. And I do believe that is how the first half would end, as Kevin Morales does get outmuscled by Eric Dyer. Also, I forgot to mention that Nicholas Otamendi is out two months through a training injury that occurred right after the summer transfer window did expire, so that was very disappointing to see. But nonetheless, Paul Dybala is running through, goes past a couple Everton defenders, and then fires his shot into the back net past the Everton goalkeeper, making it Boca Juniors 2 and Everton 0. Everton would whip in across, and the header is won by Boca Juniors. Tom Cleverley's shot is saved, but unfortunately for us, Hector Bellerin and also Willie Caballero 
kind of fail right here. Bellerin has the ball and Caballero kind of hits it into the back net. Very disappointing to concede no goal. And now Caballero has the goal kick, gives it up to Kevin Gamero. Gamero to Besic, Besic to Delafeo. Delafeo gives it up to Kevin Gamero. And Kevin Gamero does fire his shot into the back net. Time game up, making it Everton 2, Boca Juniors 2. So maybe us winning every game in the league would be over. But fortunately for Boca Juniors, just didn't happen as my man, Domenico Berardi, refused to let it happen. And Sua gets the ball on outside of the box, gives up to Domenico Berardi, and Domenico Berardi turns past one Everton defender and fires a left foot shot into the back of the net, giving Boca Juniors the lead and ensuring that our streak of winning every single game in the league does remain intact. And that would be the end of the game. A fantastic victory at Goodison Park. Really solid to for us to rebound, even though we were 2 nothing up. Very disappointing to not be able to close the game right there, giving up the own goal and also a pretty sloppy goal. But I am proud that we were able to show the character and get the victory even after Everton did tie the game at 2-2. And I did sim the Capital One Cup game with the backup side against Brentford. We did get a 4-1 victory in that game, and now we go into the big game, the Super Classico against River Plate. River Plate were on fine form, and so was Boca Juniors, so this was a great game. River Plate looking to deny Boca Juniors of keeping their streak of winning every single game in the league, and also Boca Juniors looking to get a massive victory in the rivalry, and also keep that streak of winning every game in the league and Kyle Walker's on the ball in the seventh minute for Boca Juniors he fires the right foot shot into the back and that and Kyle Walker has been absolutely sensational so far this season for Boca Juniors giving Boca Juniors the lead in the seventh minute but River Plate would have an attack very early on in the first half. It's Roberto Pereira on the ball. He whips in across to Falcao. Falcao cannot win the header. Falls to Alexis Sanchez. Back to a River Plate player who fires a shot. Oh my, and he catches Willie Caballero out. Willie Caballero just didn't look ready, and a fantastic strike by the River Plate player does mean that River Plate do tie the game very early on. But Boca Juniors would have another attack right before the end of the first half. Carlos Tevez is cut to the inside, plays through Paulo Dybala. Dybala looks for Tevez, it's deflected, goes back to Tevez, and I don't know how his shot is denied right there. Some great goalkeeping by the River Plate goalkeeper. Keeps it at 1-1, entering the second half. And we would have a very short free kick in the early stages of the second half. Tevez runs past it. He's played through by Insua. And oh, how does Carlos Tevez not score that? Even Bruno Zicciolini is disappointed in the Argentines effort. Big time save by River Plate. And now we would have one more attack. It's Insua on the ball playing through Baselli. Baselli on the ball running down the wing. Goes past one River Plate player. Does a nice ball roll. Has the shot. But a big save by the River Plate goalkeeper would mean that our streak of winning every single game is over. But we are still unbeaten in the league. That's pretty solid. And that will wrap it up for this episode of the Boca Juniors Career Mode. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Boca Juniors Career Mode and other FIFA 16 content.